say I've thrown him or knocked him down or I've got him down, got him on his back, and I start to try to pin him, and, and I've, I've got my case of Gatami going, but he, but he pushes my hand away, and for whatever reason, I can't get my hand around his head. Oh, this sucks. I don't want to do this. Well, you could hold him here in a good, legitimate judo hold down and keep him for time. Okay. And judo, our, our pins, like I said before, they aren't, you're not pinning his shoulders to the mat. You're holding him down primarily on his back or backside for time. Okay, so I want, I want to hold him for as long as I possibly can and control his body. So I'm here, so I've got really good case of Gatami lower body position. So my hips are real close under here. Okay, I got my arm around his arm, my, my hand grabbing here, see that? Okay, now, and I'm close to him, so my feet are digging into the mat. I may be up here, whatever, but I've got good, solid, fluid base, we call it. I'm moving with him all the time, but I've got a good base. St stability. But this arm is here, but I can't get my arm around. He won't let me get that. For whatever reason, not going to happen. Okay, so grab both hands on one. So my left hand's already on his, his uh, uh, elbow here. And when you grab, don't grab way high up here. Grab way down here with your left hand. Suck him in tight to you. Because what I want to do, I want to suck him in so tight that I can feel breath come out of him. Okay, that's, that's, that. I got a pretty good hold. This other hand, I'm going to put my elbow right in the crook of his neck. See that? And this hand, see I grab just right here the back of his judo gi, or the back of his arm, his triceps here. Above his, about his shoulder. See that? So I'm going to ride him like this.